Hello everyone, welcome back to Potted Plant Entertainment. My name is Chris and in case you don't know, I review movies and I rank them on a scale of 0 to 100 in increments of 5. Today, we are going to be reviewing Avatar. Avatar was released in 2009 and it stars Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana, Sigourney Weaver, Michelle Rodriguez, Stephen Lang, and Giovanni Ribisi. It was directed by James Cameron and was produced by, uh, I'm going to try to pronounce this, uh, Leita Calogridis and Colin Wilson. And in this movie, this movie takes place in the future in which we have wiped out like all forms of vegetation on Earth. Like everything is man-made now. And we discover this um, planet that takes like five and a half years to travel to. That's how far away it is from here. Um that has its own tribe of people that look like this tribes of people that look like that and uh there's like new creatures that we've never heard of and stuff it's a whole new world it's called pandora and people go there and they try to offer them like um education and things like that and they don't want anything to do with it and one of the tribes is living in this tree and underneath the tree is a bunch of extremely valuable resources that we can get to and so we want to the people there they want to um the military folk they want to uh drive them all out and they want to get those resources but the people don't want to leave and they will kill them if they have to and sam worthington is um and so what they do in order to uh better communicate with them and earn their trust is that they create um bodies that are just like theirs and they have technology where you get into this pod and you can transfer your consciousness over to one of these uh over to one of the bodies and you can live in through that. And so Sam Worthington, uh, they he they use him to infiltrate them and learn about them. And he ends up falling in love and becoming one with the tribe and um, chaos ensues. This movie revolutionized digital effects. CGI would never be the same again when this came out. And I remember when this came out, the hype around this movie, I was really little, but the hype around this movie was unbelievable people were hyped out of their minds for this it held the box office record right until uh avengers endgame came out last year and that movie like ever so slightly broke the record um but this movie held the record for about 10 years um and it revolutionized cgi uh that i think that that was the reason why this movie was so popular it's because this movie was the matrix of my generation when the matrix came out the year i was born in 1999 nobody had ever seen anything like that it revolutionized special effects well it, this was basically the, uh, what the matrix was to me it really revolutionized illusionary effects and it was a huge huge deal um so let's get into my pros with this movie i uh, won three oscar awards and won six more so that's pretty awesome um, it's got some really, really great action. It's well casted. It's got beautiful, beautiful scenery. I mean, this movie is a looker. The scenery in the film is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a great story. There's real emotion to it. The music is pretty good. And at the end of the movie, there's a very cool fight scene, but it's very different as well. I've never seen anything like it, but I applaud them for going for something different. And it worked. It was pretty awesome. Um, I do have some cons with this. So now that this movie has been out for a while, a little bit of the CGI is starting to look dated. If you look at some of the shots in this movie, so you can tell it's kind of starting to look a little dated. Um, but not for like 95% of the CGI in this film really, really holds up. And um, the, the villains in this movie, I feel like they're like unrealistically heartless. And I'll explain what I mean. So basically... None of them have an issue with killing all these innocent tribal folk in order to get those resources. And there's a lot of people there. And it just seems so weird to me that they would all be like, yeah, let's kill them. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, maybe something went totally over my head. Maybe I missed something. But that seems really weird to me how all of them would totally be on board with this. That, Yeah, that's kind of. That's pretty unrealistic. Um, um, yeah, um, but it's a beautiful love story. 
Um, the action is amazing. The special effects are amazing. It, the scenery is so beautiful. Uh, they they made a whole like they made like a little area or like a ride or something in uh, Universal Studios or no no Disney World Disney World yeah. And that's dedicated to this. And uh, I figured I would talk about this movie since uh, the sequels are being filmed right now. And um, Avatar Two is supposed to, I believe it's supposed to come out in December of two thousand twenty one. Uh, and they're planning on doing five in total, so they released one, it came out in 2009, and they got four more installments planned, and the final one is supposed to come out in 2027, so they're going to at least one every two years, is uh, word on the street, um, and according to IMDb as well. Uh, but with all that being said, I am going to give Avatar an 85. I think this is a really good movie, it's not one of my all-time favorite movies, but I do think it's pretty good. Um, a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do like it. I personally really enjoy it. Again, it's not one of my all-time favorite movies. It's not one of my favorite films, but I, I think it's really good. Um, I really like this film. Uh, okay, uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Potty Planet Entertainment for more. Hit the like button. Leave movie suggestions down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Potty Planet Entertainment for channel updates and uh, much love.